Hello everyone. Hello everyone. It's Melody Stroud. It's Melody Stroud. What's your name? Anna Stroud and I look like a princess from a fairy tale because I dressed up. Yes, Anna dressed up, kind of sere, and she wanted to look like a princess from a fairy tale, and you do, because we are kicking off fairy tale week at Usborne Book Barn, so thank you so much for being here. So um, today's going to be really quick because we are actually going to go see a fairy tale really soon. We have a dollar theater here in Huntsville where it really is like a dollar, maybe it's like a dollar fifty to see a movie, and we're going to go see Beauty and the Beast. So we're um, live. Live, yes. Yeah. So we're going to go see a fairy tale, so we have to kind of make this quick, but um, I wanted to share with you just a couple books. Hi, Miss Kayla. Share with you a couple books and then share with you the details about the giveaway. So first, the books I wanted to share with you today. Um, this one, I don't remember if I shared this last time or not, but it is fabulous. So Muddlin' Matched is um, just a really great series. And this is our brand new fairy tale edition. So, um, sorry, Anne, I'm going to get right in your face. Um, so what you can do is these things change and you can mix and match them and make, and it's really, I show them? yes, you show it makes it really funny and, um, it's actually really great. Even, um, not for little ones, I changed it. you changed it and it changes the story, but it has such great alliteration. It is so no, much fun. It. You changed it again. Now look, look how funny Goldilocks looks with her, her puss in boots body. And so, and so it's just a lot of fun, and you can, let's see, there's, I'll, I'll read this one. Sleeping Beauty, the snoring princess, wanders warily in the wild wood, then is greeted by growling grizzly bears. So, so much fun, a great fairy tale book. So we have, this is just $8.99, really sturdy. You have other ones too, if you can get them, um, Hold it up, they can see. um, 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 you can get them out of ones and um, yeah, there's a whole bunch uh, there. Uh, um, um, some goodbye. What? No, if you want to get up, you can, but I need to finish. I say goodbye. Okay, well, I'm not done. Mm. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm almost done. Okay, so this book, stop with your feet. This is this book, goodbye. Do you need to go? Go, go, go. No, no, no. Okay, the be good girl. Um, so this is the Usborne Big Picture Book General Knowledge. This just came out. This is not a fairy tale book, but we were reading it this morning, and it is so much fun. And I had to share with you one really interesting fact that's in here. So this book, I don't remember, I don't think I showed this last time either. It's just a big picture book of general knowledge. Um, it's, yes, there you are. It's really big, really fun. Okay. So, I wanted to share with you this first thing right here where it says, it talks about stuff around the world. It says, the five smallest countries in the world all could fit inside Disney World. How interesting is that? These five smallest countries could all fit inside Disney World together. I thought that was so cool. So, this is just a super fun book um, around the world, animals, so great. And I really, look at the illustrations. Look at the lions and the seal, just really good. Anyway, we'll talk about this book again a little later. I love it, but I wanted to share that with you really quickly. Um, okay, so um, tomorrow in UBB Special Peeps, I'm going to be reading aloud Little Red Riding Hood for story time. And I, and I, read my princess gown because right I'm reading a, a red riding hood. Right here. So I thought about, um, no. Okay. Um, oh, she, she has a red riding hood. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Stop with your feet. Okay. So we just read two red riding hood books. We read this one, which comes with two masks. It has a mask here, and it has a mask there, and we... May I put on the mask? Yes, put them on. Um, so we read this one first, and I thought, oh, well, I'll read this one tomorrow for story time. But I actually um, prefer... Oh, 
just going to put it on. You got it? So this is... <laughs> there, that's a little red riding hood mask. How cute is that? How cute is that? <laughs> but my favorite little red riding hood book is this one. Um, so there we go. Little red riding hood. I love this one. Um, so I'm going to have to decide. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to surprise you. I'll surprise you of which Little Red book we're going to read. But tomorrow in UBB Special Peeps, we will read a Little Red Riding Hood book. So be sure that you're over there. And this is the, the one for the wolf. <laughs> so pretty fun. Um, it's stuck in my tear. Okay. Um, no, 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 just leave it. I know, but it'll mess my hair up, and we're almost um, done. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 no, it's not going to mess your hair up. Okay. So, um, two, so two things, two last things I wanted to share with you. Um, so, fairy tale week. So, every day. Wait, mom, wait, mom, mom, okay. mom, 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 mom. Uh, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Where is So, every day this week, I'm going to share with you one reason why fairy tales are important to read to your child. And I'm getting, and what I, where I'm getting this from is um, from this, a Scottish book trust blog from June 2014, right here. I can share the link. Um, but there are so many blogs and articles and research done that show the importance of fairy tales. And so um, I just want to share one thing with you. It says they boost a child's imagination and cultural literacy. We all know how important it is to encourage imagination in our kids. Fairy tales certainly do that. Um, I'm a kid. Uh, you are a kid. You're, you're my kid. Um, but I also love the part about cultural literacy because, no, you're sleeping, because so many fairy tales, of course, are not about our culture. Most are not. I can't really think of one that is. Um, so it's, it really inspires kids to think about a different culture and gets them um, curious about what it was like in France and Beauty and the Beast or in Germany with Snow White. So I really do love that fairy tales and bring... And Beauty and the Beast uh -huh. so Snow White. Don't copy mommy or you'll have to get up. <laughs> I love how fairy tales do that. They bring another culture into our life. So uh, that's reason number one for why fairy tales are awesome. Imagination, of course, and cultural literacy. Now for the giveaway. So starting tonight, there will be a post, and you'll definitely be able to tell which one it is. There will be a post, um, like a giveaway entry post. And each day, this week, Monday through Friday, there's going to be a different way to enter. Now, on Friday, um, it'll probably, well, you know what? It'll probably be Saturday because I'm gonna give you a chance to enter Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's gonna be five entries. But we'll, but we'll be and going I'm, to Nana's on. Yeah, Nana, we're going to Nana's tomorrow for 4th of July, mm -hmm. but there will still be a post because, you know, while if you're, you know, traveling, it won't take but a second to enter. But, um, so if you comment on all five of the posts, so you have to check back each day so there's going to be five posts, and you have to comment on all five to be entered to win a copy of my favorite, favorite fairy tale book, which is this one. Which, I have to show them. I have to show them. It's you too... can sell them because it's your Osborne book, and I'm trying to cover it. Okay. Okay. It is the Osborne fairy tale book, and I'm just going to hold her up so you can see it you need to show them can you show them what it looks like show them what it looks like okay I'm going to hold the title look at that the Osborne book of fairy tales oh my goodness my favorite one ever so I'm giving away two copies so two of you could win this book absolutely for free you will love it book. so be sure to check back every day this week and be sure to enter it'll say like giveaway post one giveaway post two got to enter all five to be eligible and this is open to u.s residents and non-consultants only please yay 
All right, everyone have a fabulous day. I will see you um, later tonight. Check back for the giveaway entry, the post one. And then I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, in UBB Special Peeps, where we are going to read some version of Little Red Riding Hood. Have a wonderful day. Read a fairy tale today. Your kids will love it. And I'll see you soon. Bye, Can we everyone. read one more fairy tale today? Yes, we can. One fairy tale. One